My tastes in watches change quite frequently. Before I buy a watch, I usually sit on the idea for a few months to make sure at the end of that time it's still something I'm really interested in. Lately I've been getting really deep with vintage watches and today I want to take a look at this GUB Glasshuta watch I picked up from around 1970. Let's take a look. GUB was an East German conglomerate formed in 1951 from an amalgamation of watch companies based in Glasshuta, Germany. The watchmaking industry in Glasshuta, Germany began around 1845 with Adolf Lange. During the latter half of the 19th century and early part of the 20th century, other watchmakers came to Glasshuta to begin making timepieces. This industry hit a wall at the commencement of World War I. After the first war, the predecessor of Glasshuta Original arose but again was halted by World War II, where watchmaking around the globe turned to the war effort. Following the destruction caused by World War II, including many watchmaking facilities, the Soviet-controlled East Germany restarted creating watches, previously under separate brands like Langa and Glasshuta Original, with an amalgamated brand called GUB. Not until after the fall of the Berlin Wall were the predecessors of Langa and Glasshuta able to regain rights and operate independently. So you can view GUB as the collection of the best watchmaking of the Glasshuta Germany region, which includes heavy hitters in the watchmaking world including Alanga and Zona and Glasshuta Original. From the 1950s through the 1980s, GUB created some extraordinary watches, and many of them are still available secondhand and in various states of authenticity at reasonable prices. Since these pieces span several decades and eras of style, there is a tremendous variety, and it's fun to browse the various styles available. The watch that we're looking at today is a GUB Glasshuta Spetsomatic with the caliber 74 automatic movement from about 1970. The dimensions on this case come in at 36 millimeters in diameter, 10.3 millimeters in thickness, and about 42 millimeters lug to lug. As someone with a 17 centimeter wrist and can easily wear 42 and 43 millimeter sport watches, I'm really enjoying the elegant, slim look of these vintage dimensions. The case is stainless steel with gold plating, and there is a push-pull crown at the 3 o'clock and a solid case back that confirms this is from GUB, as well as that it's made in Germany, stainless steel that is shock resistant. Protecting the glass is a plexiglass material common for this era. The dial on this watch is fantastic and has a beige tan sunburst dial with gold applied hour markers set a couple millimeters from the outer edge with black coating on the hour markers at the 3, 6, 9, and 12. The hour minute hands are a traditional gold stick shape and the seconds hand is a thin black hand. The text on the dial includes the Glasuta logo and Spetsomatic at the 12 and 26 rubies at the 6. As you'll note, the Glasshuta logo on this watch is very similar to the logo currently used by Glasshuta Original. The movement on this watch is the GUB Caliber 74 automatic movement, which has 26 joules, beats at 5 beats per second, and has a power reserve of 37 hours. Not the most accurate movements now, but surprisingly accurate for a 50-year-old watch, in my opinion. The lug width is about 18 millimeters, and I put this watch on a nice textured brown leather strap with a matching gold clasp that I think looks nice and complements the warm tones of this 70s timepiece. I not only like the looks and the sizing of vintage watches, but I like the idea that these have been around for over 50 years, keeping time for various owners around the world. Each vintage watch is truly unique given its history, and you can find all sorts of stunning gems that weren't high-end pieces but are now coveted due simply to their scarcity. I don't know how many of these references there are in the world currently, but every year going forward there will be less until there are only a few. I feel protective of my vintage watches because I don't want to be the guy that broke number 36 left in the whole world. I really feel like I'm wearing a piece of art and history on my wrist with some of these vintage watches. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please leave a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing for more. I'll see you in the next one.